the holiday season is here again and you're probably starting to think about what you can make as gifts for people. Now, handmade gifts are wonderful, but there's only so much time in the day. So today I have seven quick and easy hand-stitched gifts that you can make in just a few hours. So the first thing is a bookmark. So readers will love bookmarks. They can always use a new bookmark. And the nice thing with bookmarks is that they don't take up a lot of materials. So you can just make something with the scraps that you have at home. Now you can embroider something. So it can be with their name or a special quote from a book. You can do patchwork on a bookmark. Here's a couple samples that I have. This is a bookmark that's made with silk fabric and it's hand stitched with a, a traditional Pojagi seam and then it's embellished with this triple back stitch. So this is a nice bookmark that I've had for years. And then I also have some Hardanger bookmarks that I've made. This one would take more than just two or three hours because it is a little bit more complex, but this one is pretty simple and it could be finished more quickly. So Hardanger is a great option for, for bookmarks. Also, I have this bookmark. This one is crocheted. My son made this for me a couple of years ago, and I still really like seeing this little uh, cat head poking out at the top of my book. One of the nice things about bookmarks is that they are pretty small. So if you're sending a card to someone who lives far away, you can just tuck the bookmark into the card so they get a gift, but you don't have to pay for shipping. If you want a bigger gift, then you can easily include a bookmark in a gift basket with a couple books and maybe some hot chocolate or a favorite drink. It's really versatile, personal, and practical. The second last minute stitching gift you might want to make is a Christmas tree ornament. Now, any kind of embroidery or little patchwork piece can be turned into an ornament. And I, ha I have made many different Christmas ornaments. You can see those on my website, but here's just a couple samples. This is a snowflake and it's just finished in a little three inch hoop. And so this could easily be done in an hour or so. Uh, this is our Bargello ornament. This one would take a little bit more time, but it's not very difficult to, it's not a difficult embroidery. And this one is finished with this uh, cross stitch on the edge. Then this little Christmas tree is a quick and easy embroid embroidery pattern. And it's finished with this piping edge. And then embroidery on felt is always a really nice way to make ornaments because the felt doesn't fray, so you don't need to worry about finishing the edges in either way. And this one just has felt with embroidery. Then I added another piece of felt on the back and finished it with running stitch around the edge. So there are hundreds of options for um, handmade Christmas tree ornaments. And the nice thing with Christmas tree ornaments is people will generally tend to use them every year. So every year when they get out that ornament that you made, then it will remind them of you. That is something else that people tend to keep Christmas tree ornaments and reuse them every year. Adding stitching to a ready-made item is a really nice way to personalize a gift. So you can add stitching onto so many different things, but for example, this placemat, it was a placemat that I just purchased and then I just added a couple of rows of embroidery onto it. You can also personalize uh, napkins, aprons, tea towels. Uh, there's so many different things and you can personalize this with um, hand embroidery. You could add some applique. You could just add some decorative machine stitching, but it takes what could be just a plain basic item and it just really personalizes it for the person that you're giving it to. So that is a great project if you don't have a lot of time because you don't need to make the item, you're just adding a bit of customization. The next type of gift to give somebody is mini quilts. And when I say mini quilts, I don't mean something like this 
that is just a small version of a big quilt because this is still just as complicated and time consuming as a big quilt because it has so many little pieces and seams. I don't mean a miniature quilt, but what I mean is a small piece of patchwork. So something like perhaps a placemat, a pot holder, a mug rug, or a wall hanging. These are all great projects that are relatively quick and easy to do. Certainly a lot faster than a full quilt. These can also be used in conjunction with other things. For example, if you make a little mug rug and a coaster, you could give that with a mug and maybe a package of special coffee. These are easy to personalize because you can make them in the color or the pattern that that person will like. And because they're small projects, you can easily make these with scraps and pieces from your stash. Another quick and easy project is pillowcases. So pillowcases are very practical. People will use them, but they can be made with so many different fabrics. There are lots and lots of novelty fabrics. And so you'll be able to find the perfect piece for the person you're giving to. Maybe they like flowers or maybe they would like Star Wars. Maybe they have a, a special cartoon that they like or something else that they follow. And pillowcases um, compared to quilts that you would put on top of a bed, they don't usually have to match the same because when you make the bed, they'll be under the covers. They're kind of hidden. So only the person who is sleeping on it really knows what is on the pillowcase. So that's a great way to personalize and add a bit of fun. Even adults will love a personalized pillowcase that is in, that's made with fabric that feels really nice. And don't forget that in winter, flannel is a really nice option for a pillowcase. Another quick and easy last minute Christmas gift is a stained glass window hanging. Now, these are pieces that are made with reversible patchwork. And you can see here, um, it just looks like normal patchwork, but if you see a picture of it in a window, it does look like stained glass. And that's because of the seam technique. So the seams technique gives it the stained glass effect, but it also makes it a quick and easy project. So this one is a Christmas tree, so it's definitely Christmas themed, but of course it doesn't have to be Christmas themed. You can make um, anything you want. This one is the Friendship Star. You can see what it looks like in a window. And this one is a free tutorial that I have on my website that comes in two different sizes. So this would be a great last minute gift. The small one is something people can hang just like a sign catcher, just to add a little bit of color to their window. And then if you have flannel scraps, then a flannel receiving blanket is another nice last minute gift. Uh, this is another free tutorial that I have on my website and it can be adapted to any size based on what size you want and how much fabric you have. And this is also made with the same reversible patchwork seam as the window hangings. And a flannel receiving blanket, it's nice for somebody who has a new baby, or if you have a child who would like a little blanket to wrap their doll or their stuffy, they would love something like this. So even though we're well into the holiday season, there's still lots of time to make a handmade stitching gift. You can find um, links for tutorials and information about all these projects at my website, ebitastudio.com.